It's Turkey Day, finally here. This is Turkey 101. Hey, it's Vicki, welcome to my channel, where I help you cook simple and smart. I'm gonna help you make the best turkey that you've ever made, whether it's your first time hosting Thanksgiving, or you've been hosting it for a while, like I have. I'm sure you're gonna get some good information. You're in the right place. First, we're gonna start with a brine. Two quarts of water, a cup of salt, peppercorns, sage, rosemary, and thyme. My son told me not to sing. <laughs> For your brine, you can use just about whatever you like. Stuff that goes with turkey. The salt is what's important. It helps retain moisture in your turkey. A lot of people put citrus in it. So you're going to bring it to a boil till all the salt dissolves. I'll help you with some do's and don'ts when preparing your turkey. You want do, make sure your kitchen is nice and clean. Have everything that you need because once your hands touch the turkey, you're, you're in it. <laughs> you are in it. I have some paper towels here on the side, which I use in case, I don't know, my phone rang or something, so I can touch things without contamination. You're gonna open up your turkey, and I have the bag here for my discards. Inside this little baby, Tom, I guess, lovingly known as Tom, are the little packets of goodies. You're gonna save these for a sauce. Or the dogs. And don't forget the neck. My husband would kill me if I didn't take out the neck. There was one year, my first turkey, I'm gonna rinse it. Yeah, I left the bags of giblet inside. Didn't know they were even in there. <laughs> and now we're gonna put it into the brine. I have a big, big pot I'm using. If you don't have a pot, you can use the plastic bags. These are real great. Way less expensive than buying the bags specifically for a turkey. These are only like six bucks and you get four bags. That's smart. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and pour a brine on the turkey. You do wanna make sure it gets into the cavity. And then we're gonna fill the rest up with some water. You wanna kinda of have the breast side down. The back side already is gonna be so ju juicy. Now I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator overnight. If you don't have um, space in your refrigerator, you can always just put it into a cooler. Or you could take everything from your refrigerator out and put it in a cooler. When your turkey's done brining, discard all that brine Rinse the salt off and pat it dry really, really well so you get a nice crispy skin. To make sure our turkey is always juicy, they're the same suspects here. Sage, rosemary, and thyme. I like to add a little paprika with some salt and pepper. And I'm just gonna mush it up with my hands. Butters at room temperature. I like the color the paprika gives to it. Gonna get under the skin. And you just kind of wedge your hand in there. Don't worry, be tender, he'll let you. Hey, turkey. Thank you for sacrificing your life for me. I appreciate it. I will do right by you, I promise. So just release the skin and kind of get in as, as, as best as you can. He'll let you if you talk nice. Hey turkey, you wanna come to dinner? You can get the butter all in there. You don't have to be as OCD as me. 
<laughs> Don't worry, it's going to get everywhere. And now we slather. Just show them some love. Don't forget the legs. Don't forget underneath. Get everywhere. It's going to give your turkey flavor and color. I'm like already getting excited right now. I'm going to tuck the wings under so they don't burn. Don't forget your inside. Anything left over, get it on the inside. Put some onions in there. If I had some fresh herbs, I'd put it in there, but I used them all. Mm -hmm. Lemon. I'm gonna cook. These things are so great that they come on the turkeys now. You don't have to bother with buying the twine and all that. It holds those legs together. And remember those paper towels? Still got them. Or I got new ones. We're gonna put some chicken stock on the bottom. Remember, this is gravy at the end of the day. At the end of the turkey. Cook time. This is gonna be your gravy. I'm gonna put about half in there. If I need some more, I will. I also have another onion. Just cut into quarters for flavor. All right, 13 to 15 minutes per pound. And when you're thinking of buying the turkey, it's about one and a half pounds per guest. That hopefully will give you leftovers, but that's not guaranteed. So you can have the juiciest turkey you've ever had. Mmm, that's good. Oh, it's turkey day. <laughs> it really is good. So good. And look how juicy it is. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> I know. One of the best tips I can give you is totally stock up on chicken stock. It, it will be your friend during the holiday. If your chicken's too dry, just add a little chicken stock before serving to make it a little more juicy. If it's a little longer done, put it in a pan with a little chicken stock. Cook it in the oven in just a couple more minutes. If your vegetables are too mushy, put a little chicken stock and cream in there and boom, cream vegetables. It's like a little happy mistake. I hope you liked my video. I sure did love making it. I'll see you next time. Yes, please. Oh my God, I'm an animal. It is really good. Hello.